It's time to drop the hammer. Off and running down into the corner already. Three wide for the race lead. Hayford deep down on the inside of Zierfoss. Zierfoss powers out of the way and hangs on to the point for now. Here comes Hayford deep down low. Drives it out across. Brock Zierfoss leads lap number one. Hayford deep still working at number two spot. Back behind Max Mitry, the 2XM car. Rounds out those top three, all of them on the same end of the racetrack. Mitry trying to figure out a way to get through lap traffic. He'll go to the bottom side. Looks on Zierfoss. Is Hayford deep your race leader now? Down the back, shooting into turn number three and four. 15 H car. Working down off the top of the racetrack. Powers to the inside of traffic. Zierfoss still working a top shot. Contact went into the infield. We got him scrambling. Hayfertie goes around. Whenever we went under the caution flag, they checked up. He spins around the 15 H car. So your race leader, who had just got it away from Brock Zierfoss, is facing backward on the racetrack, and he has stopped into the number two spot. They roll into the throttle. We're back underway. Hammer into the push it out. Dead end and hang on goes the 14-H red flag comes out. Took a dig. Boy, he tried to power it down into the bottom of the racetrack. That thing kind of biked up, hopped about three or four times out across there. He's already out of the race car. Give him a round of applause. Seven laps scored into books. Zierfoss fires it off and hot on his heels comes Max Mitry. They are down into turn number one. Look at immediately the first cushion. Look at that split formation back behind Robbie Price down on the inside. He's going to get one of them off. And Sanders is losing some steam. And Robbie's coming on strong with the number 39 car. Powers into the number three spot out. Turn number four down the front straightaway. Here comes J.J. Hickel. Red flag comes out. One up and over. Completely over the wall. And turn number three and four. My goodness gracious, out of the race car, he is okay. So give him a big round of applause. That was an adventure down at that end of the racetrack. Down there for the old number seven car. Gets a little bump in her up and they're off and running. Transitions that onto the front stretch, Max. And 2XM car tries to hang with him and the seven car gets out of the way. Past the halfway point. And Justin Sanders is riding the brakes hard to get that thing through the corner. And here he comes down the inside, running a race lead again at turn number three and four. Zierfoss gets away from him. Squeaks through on the outside with the old Breeze Weasel maneuver and hangs on to the number one spot, pulls four or five car lengths. Now to turn number two and down the back straightaway. Look out, contact Sterling Kling. Got into the wall, climbed that right rear tire up. And then I hope I didn't knock it off. Zierfoss, still your race leader. Sanders is right there, down into the corner. He'll lower entry, and he pulls alongside of the number seven car. Zierfoss knows he's got company now. Sanders has to let it slide up, catch something. Here comes Price down low. Look for the number two spot. Slides out across the snood of the 2X car. Sanders able to turn it back to the inside and hang on for now. Meanwhile, just ahead, Zierfoss throwing slide jobs on Skyler. G right in front of your race here. Oh, punch the tail tank. 47, a charge, and Charles Davis Jr. just took a shot in the shorts that set him aflame. So Sanders is on the hook, being towed off for the 2X car. Wow. Unbelievable. And Brock Zierfoss pushes off. Seven car pushes off. And he's going to test it out. And my goodness gracious, if he could pull it off without a front wing, that would be absolutely incredible. Robbie Price sitting back in that number two spot. Mitri. Your third position, Zierfoss throttles it up, sends it out, turn number four, and we're off and running. Down into one and two, he's got to ease it into the cushion. Boy, that thing stuck to the track, and look at him pulling away from the field. Less arrow drag on the front of that race car as he races down into the corner. Hope he makes minimum weight, as Robbie cannot hang with him. Unbelievable, as they like to say. One more trip around for the number seven car. Lays the front wing off of it, literally on fire. He continues on his way. He looks to pick up the final feature event ever at Arizona Speedway. The Copper Classic goes to Brock Zierfoss. 